Pena School District number 8 in Illinois. A growing district determined to apply technology to make learning more engaging and to prepare its students for 21st century jobs. But like so many districts today, attempting to integrate 21st century tools on decade-old network technology was problematic. A generous donation of touch-sensitive internet-enabled whiteboards solidified the need to take action. Once last year when the smart boards were put in and teachers would try to be doing a video and it wouldn't work, the downloading wouldn't work, and students would become frustrated, staff would become frustrated. Paul Loff, principal at the junior high, wanted to use tools like YouTube, Google, and Wikipedia for the classes he taught. But the growing networking issues were even impacting the district's administrative applications. There'd be days in the past where you couldn't even barely get your computer to turn on. Just because of, of the network infrastructure, when I log on to my computer, if it takes 10 minutes for it just to log on, I know it's going to be a slow day. Fortunately, the leaders of the Painted District were fully engaged in the leveraging of technology. They honed in on the specifics of the network issues quickly, had the will to act, and found a way to take action. The vision has always been, for me and working with our board, is to uh, try to give our children the best competitive advantage in, in, as, as far as their education is concerned. We added smart boards and other pieces of technology around the, the, the district. It became apparent that we didn't have the network to support it. Network Administrator Scott Savage was tasked with the upgrade to their decade-old network. He knew it would also need to support an advanced VoIP phone system to replace their PBX. The choice of network vendor and the revamping of Pena's network design was the core of the project. The network was installed in the late 90s, and it did what it needed to do for the time. We had 900 computers approximately sharing a single T1 for Internet access, and it slowed down quite regularly and we did not have quality of service or rate limiting uh, on a per user or per building level. And because of that, individual person in an individual building was able to monopolize the bandwidth for the entire district if they would choose to do so. I designed a split route topology where each building has its own independent internet connection on one VLAN, and on a separate VLAN, there is building to building traffic. Funding and finding the right vendors and local VAR was the next major hurdle. The winning bid was submitted jointly by local VAR DNDC telephone company for Mitel Telephony and D-Link for data networking. While Mitel was a known player in the VoIP space, the selection of D-Link required a bit of extra due diligence on Scott's part. He discovered that D-Link did more for less. I was introduced to D-Link products through uh, word of mouth from another technology coordinator. He clued me in about how they could do what other products could do for uh, anywhere from 30 to 60 percent less. A competitor's uh, rack of equipment might have been configured with 10 switches that were connected with single gigabit links between them, where the D-Link product uh, actually has uh, 20 gigabit links in a resilient chain uh, where an individual switch in the stack can fail and the network will continue to operate. Scott's due diligence convinced the board that he had the right technical solution, helped along by a letter from the president of Mitel vouching for the compatibility of the D-Link equipment, and D-Link's strong partnership with highly capable local VAR DNDC telephone company sealed the deal. When they partnered with D-Link in the overall project, uh, that was a key piece to uh, us moving forward with both of them. It was very good to see how they worked well together uh, and stood behind their commitments. So this technology is driving these kids to see that uh, not only that they're learning something new, but that the Pena School District is offering it to them. 20, good job, Austin. So come on up. In the end, the bid allowed the district to take action on their aggressive network overhaul at a fraction of the cost in a single summertime installation versus spreading the purchase and upgrade out over several years. The impact has been overwhelming. We're able to allow the privilege of all the students in the district being able to do things like visit YouTube. Now we can allow rich media uh, into the hands of the students without any significant restrictions. The wide area network itself has uh, enhanced our productivity as far as bandwidth in ways that we're only beginning to explore. Any kid, any staff member can log on to any computer within the district. We never had that capability before. Email has been much, much faster. 
Our administrative software that we use, STI, operates a lot faster. That allows teachers to input data that they need for students, grades, attendance, etc. Kimmy? 14. Awesome. Good job. The kids are doing a lot more projects that are moving beyond just your simple PowerPoint presentations. They're adding animations. They're adding uh, streaming video. They're able to add all of those elements to uh, what in the past has been pretty much a, a technology poor uh, teaching environment. If kids are engaged, they're going to learn. We believe that these tools are going to help engage kids. And we're very excited about what you know the future holds because we believe that we've got a network that's going to take us uh, pretty solidly uh, moving forward over the next five to ten year period. What I see is the benefit to the student. What I look at them and I see them doing is getting engaged and putting, the, you know, they, they're eager to learn and they want to do it. You guys agree? Radius, MC? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yay! We could have had all of this technology at our fingertips, but without the networking, it would have meant nothing.